Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to take apart the Fitbit Charge HR. So this is the one with the heartbeat monitor. So for me I had to take it apart because it got some water damage. So I'll show you guys how I did it. Um, it works, counts the steps, the battery dies really fast though. And it doesn't sync, the Bluetooth doesn't sync anymore. So we'll see if Fitbit covers that. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you have to take out these four little screws. One, two, three, and four. You might need one of these small sets of tools to take it apart. So here I have the smallest tip possible, and it's a, the shape of a star. I think here you need a six shaped tip kind of like these ones here but these ones are not small enough so a five will actually worked for me even though it's a six so what you're going to do is you're going to put this down and unscrew them You might want to press a little hard just to make sure you're getting in there just because it's not matching exactly so there's one one of them came out let's see the other one the other one not yet let's get the other two on top so the nice thing about this is that I actually was able to take it apart and put it back together because I've seen a video of the Fitbit force where someone takes it apart, but they literally have to like break it apart. So this one is nice that even though you take it apart, you're able to put it back together if you do it, if you don't screw anything up too badly. All right. So there's two of them that came out. Okay. This one's pretty much out three. And then this, we gotta get this last one that's kind of stuck in here. All right, four. So the first time I took it out, it, it was kind of stuck. So what you do is you wanna get the tip and on the left side here, there's a hole. There's a little hole on the left side. And what you do is you just poke it straight through and it'll pop it out. It'll pop this, this part off. So once you pop it off, you want to be very gentle. You don't want to pull anything too hard because you don't want it to you don't want anything to break. So once you do that, okay, you have to get the side. The side here is holding it together in place. So you're gonna pull back slowly and snap it out. And there you go. You have the battery here. The screen still works. I think there's a reset thing here. If you push this here, it reset. Maybe not. Maybe we did earlier. And this here. Okay, so now let's put it back together. Let me see, one of the screws kind of came flying out. So, replacing the battery is not as easy as popping this one out and popping another one in. It's actually attached and super glued. It looks like it's attached and glued, so it's not it's not as easy as just taking it off and putting a new one like a watch. So you might need to take it to a professional to do that. All right, so to put it back in, you're gonna put it face down. The sides here, the side on this side and the side on this side is what punches it together. 
So you're gonna have to kind of pop it in on one side, open up the other side, pop it in. Then here you wanna make sure you bring this slowly so you don't break anything. Okay, so now once you've got this, you're pretty much gonna have to kind of hold it and screw in the screws like we did earlier. So you wanna be careful not to lose these little screws. I already feel like I misplaced one of them. Um, and then you're just gonna have to screw it back together. So one. And it's hard if you don't have like all the tools, this, the magnifying glass and specific tools. So it, it can be done as you see. You can take it apart, clean it if it got wet, put it in some uh, rice. If you see the screen's kind of foggy, if you get it early enough, you know, take it, take it apart, put it in a bowl of rice for overnight. Hopefully that will work. But if you wait too long, it might be too little too late. All right, so here it is, it's working. Um, I probably can say that once you take it apart, once, it's probably not as well put together as it is in the beginning, so you definitely wanna be careful around water. You don't wanna get it wet. It's probably gonna get in a lot easier since it doesn't have that original uh, tightness. The structure is not as well put together. All right, if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment below. Thanks.